The humanity is about the human being. The way the human being lives with other humans, the way the human being lives with the environment, the way the human being lives with self. Humanities researches are basically researches that describe human experience. It gives you tools for understanding and analyzing society. In the context of Africa, the classics for us really are the oral literature. The reference Chenua Achebe makes to African proverbs is for me a touch of what is classic. You know, the palm oil with which words are eaten. The humanities were, were properly situated in the academia and actually in the value system of the nation in the past, and we're moving away from there. And we had very strong values because these values were being communicated through folk tales and all these other oral uh, avenues. And so we can actually see the impact of that in our community. What is the emphasis now? Our emphasis now is uh, make money whichever way you can. No sense of fellow feeling, no sense of national pride and identity. The values that we cherish have been weathered away. And now we're saying science and technology will transform this nation. But science without a human face is really not going to transform this nation. We are really seeing the results of that. Every new technology comes up to meet a certain human need. So my view is that the government approach of emphasizing one area and leaving the humanities behind is going to cause us a very big problem because we are going to overgrow one part of the body. I'm reminded of uh, Henstein's statement that uh, scientific invention is, mo is not possible without artistic imagination. People who come to the humanities to make something of it must be people who really love their discipline. Uh, before HP, I was just a teacher, but after HP, I became an uh, academic and a scholar. When I was doing my PhD work, I was exposed to a new theory uh, in, in the area of applied linguistics. The HP gave me the opportunity to publish using this theory. And in my case, what I really wanted to do for my doctoral program is what I didn't do at the time when I got the AHP award. Now, trauma studies is one of my major research areas, but this is actually an offshoot of the AHP research. AHP was my savior. <laughs> it was a time when um, three years had elapsed and I didn't have any more funding and I had not completed my PhD. That was my first postdoctoral grant. It gave me opportunity to network. I took up residence and I was at the University of Ghana. So a good two months of away from teaching, away from grading, you know the big numbers that we have to grade here. AHP launched my career path on a very interesting trajectory of publication. Now I'm trying to think around two book publication this year. And um, you know, I'm, I'm scared even that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> What the HP did was to give me a journey that has no end. I have used my experience and benefit from HP to serve the communities in the area that I'm best at, and that is the Lusoga language and literature. I got the Fulbright African Scholar grant. I immediately won the Caprex Fellowship. I won another American best um, uh, grant, which is called Genographic. Shortly, I got the Volkswagen uh, Postdoc Fellowship. I got promoted after the HP program, and since then, my career has kept on going. When I completed my Fulbright Fellowship, I got the Caprex Fellowship. Currently, I'm a, a fellow of the Cambridge Africa Partnership for Research Excellence. The AHP started this program of sending at least one African scholar to attend the African Studies Association. I had never dreamt that I could read as a poet at the Library of Congress. That is what AHP does for you. Yesterday I get a call from the University of Unsuka. <laughs> They have uh, appointed me on their editorial team. So, <laughs> so I'm linked up in Germany, South Africa, Kenya, and Nigeria, and Uganda. So the HP has opened all these doors for us because once people see that you've been a fellow of HP, you know, the cloud that comes with that and the exposure, 
that you get through all these different networks of scholars you interact with is, is phenomenal. HP also gave me an opportunity to go for trainings and one of them was a manuscript development training. That is the best thing I've ever had in my life. Manuscript development workshop was very helpful in answering the question of how do you come up with that article which is going to be published. I ended up in the history department and I was doing a lot of uh, historical research already at the time. But the most fascinating was when I, I found uh, this uh, course on um, visual history. The things I learned about manuscript development, the things I thought I knew about writing an article, <laughs> you know, they, they were revised in, in just one week. I wanted a book manuscript. I tell you this was over 500 pages and the publisher in UNISA wanted something about 160 pages. That's another discipline of learning to listen to people who speak something about your book and how to deal with criticism. So that by the time you come out of this and your book is in your hand, you are a very happy woman. Uh, for us in the humanities, especially in Africa, is to get more aggressive and then look for every forum to do presentations that overarching presentations. We have just argue our case, put our foot down and take it to the highest level possible. Recapture the glory of performing arts. We the experts in the humanities are the ones to tell the world our value. Literature, drama, dance, history, linguistics, anthropology, philosophy can all come together and look at a problem using, you know, various lenses. We have uh, a debt, a big debt, uh, because these people came from America with good intentions and these intentions should not die. It is in our plan for members of the department and those from other departments who have benefited from the HP Fellowship for us to conduct workshops in manuscript development. It is a benefit that I'm trying to bring to the art school. Then the art school should write to HP to say thank you. Oh,